Hey guys, what's up? It's Lil Miss Fenty, gang, gang, gang. I decided to record two videos in one day because I know my lazy ass is gonna get caught up and I'm not gonna have time to record and I want you guys to have videos. Like, I'm really so sick of not being able to do my videos. It's really pissing me off. So, I'm at the point now where I'm trying to do anything just to get videos out because I love doing my videos and I just never have time to do them now. And it's annoying me. But you guys wanted to know about my nursing school and why I don't like nursing school because I talk about it all the time and I talk about why I hate it. So, I decided not to be high for this video because I wanted to be, like, more serious, which I don't really care about, but, like, because I'm a childish ass bitch. But for you guys, I wanted you guys to actually know the reason, and I know that when I'm high, I can't really think of things. Like, my mind just goes every which way and direction. I think of a million things at once, and then I get off topic, and yeah, me and why I don't like nursing school. So, let's take it back to back in the day. So... Growing up, I was literally a tomboy. Like, I hated makeup, I hated pink, I hated everything girly. Which is why I don't understand why I'm such a fucking girl now. Because when I was little, I fucking swore to God I was a boy. Like, after I grew up, I think I started wearing makeup in, like, the 7th and 8th grade. And I was just wearing, like, light shit. Like, I would just do, like, my eyes, a couple, like, a little bit of mascara and eyeliner and shit like that. And then I got into eyeshadow when I was in 8th grade. And then from there on, I've been doing makeup since, like, the 7th grade on myself. And I have loved makeup ever since like makeup is my first love i know i love weed i know i love like a lot of other shit but makeup is the first thing in life that i ever found a love for like it is the first thing that gave me an escape it was the first thing that i had a passion for it was the first thing that i wanted to like do so growing up i think i was in like the 10th grade and like at the school that I went to, 10th, 11th grade, you have to, like, decide what colleges you're going to go to. Like, you don't pick your college, but they urge you to, like, start looking at colleges at that at that time. I told my mom that I wanted to go to beauty school. And whenever I was in, like, 10th grade, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. You can go to beauty school. And honestly, I think that she only said yes because she thought I was going to change my mind. Because whenever I graduated, I wanted to go to beauty school. And it just wasn't an option. Now, my mother is very open-minded but she is very close-minded to the things that she's already open-minded about like she's just like me like she's one of the people that if she already thinks something you cannot change her fucking mind about it like she already thinks it this way so you can't change your mind everybody knew i wanted to go to beauty school from the jump but i wasn't allowed to go because i honestly think that they thought and when i say they i mean my family I think that they thought that beauty school and cosmetology wasn't like a realistic or idealistic thing to do at the time because every girl fucking goes to call goes to beauty school after school if they don't know what they want to do because they're girls and uh, girls I don't know why people do that like don't go to beauty school just because you're a girl and because it's makeup and because you like it a little bit like no if you don't love makeup I don't even care if you I don't even give a fuck if you went to school to be a makeup artist and you still have a makeup artist license if you don't have a passion for makeup you're not a fucking makeup artist to me I don't care going to school for makeup does not make you a makeup artist it does technically but makeup artists i swear to god i have i know more techniques and i can do more shit than half the fucking artists out here basically what happened was i wanted to go to beauty school and i couldn't so my aunt was going to nursing school and i kind of just followed in her footsteps because at that time i was young and at that time in my eyes she was like one of the leaders in my life so i was like okay well let me go to school let me go to nursing school with her because if I'm going to go to school for something, I know I'm not going to go to college. Like, I knew I wasn't going to go to college. I hated college. I, I hated the idea of it. The only reason I didn't go to, the reason why I didn't go to college is because I didn't get to have fun when I was in high school. And I knew if I would have went to college, it would have been all fun. Like, I would have just wasted my money. I would have just went to college just to party and have fun because I'm an irresponsible ass bitch. That's just me. Whatever. That's what makes me me. Anyways, I ended up going to nursing school. And at first it was cool. I liked it. It was like, you know... It was, it was fucking nursing school. Like, we were learning about health and shit like that. And at first, it was really easy because I took... In high school, I had enough science credits that I didn't have to take a science. But I took anatomy and chemistry my senior year when I didn't have to. I could have that for, like, nursing school, you know, so that I had anatomy. The nursing school that I went to, it was only a year program. So that's another reason why I went, because it was only one year. Even if I wanted to do it or not, it was only one year in my life that I would be wasting. So it was one year. It was an LPN program. And this school, I honestly think that I hate nursing because of the school that I went to, the people that I was surrounded by, and it was just so fucking toxic. Like, the teachers were ignorant as fuck. They had no fucking clue what they were doing. The students were ignorant as fuck. Like, I swear to God, I almost got into a fight every fucking day. Get me wrong, I don't say I hate nursing because I, I don't like taking care of people or because I'm selfish and I don't want to waste time taking care of people or because I don't got time to take care of people or I don't got time to deal with other people's problems. It's not that. I don't like nursing because I think that a lot of people made me not like it. I know I didn't like nursing from the fucking jump because of the fact that she told me that I couldn't have makeup on. 
Like, I can see acrylic nails because those can pop off and fall. That's still fucking retarded, though, too, because nurses work with nails all the fucking time, and they be having everything on them. Bling and fucking nail polish, whatever the fuck colors they want. See, I can understand nails and, like, jewelry and shit like that, but, like, they made me not wear makeup. Like, the one day I wore makeup, and I didn't even wear it to clinical. I wore it to the sim lab, which is, like, the simulation lab where you play, like, where you do nursing on the dummies instead of real people. And they literally told me that I couldn't wear makeup. She told me that I looked like I was going to the club and that I couldn't wear makeup. I'm kind of, like, pissed because, bitch, like, that's my life. Like, that's my passion. You can't sit here and tell me that I can't do makeup, regardless of what the fuck this is. I don't care if I go to school here. You can't tell me what I can't. You can't tell me what I can and can't put on my face. Y'all never said nothing about wearing makeup. And that's the thing. There was nothing in no pamphlet about no makeup. Like, there was nothing that ever said anything about the amount of makeup that you could or couldn't wear. That's another reason why I was pissed, because this bitch just made this rule up out of nowhere. That was the first reason I didn't like it. These might be stupid-ass reasons, but I don't give a fuck. I will choose happiness and, want, and, and something that I want to do over being miserable any fucking day. So, second reason I didn't like nursing school is because whenever I was in nursing school, the school that I went to had only been open for two years, and we were only the second class to ever go through this school. So they had no idea what the fuck they were doing. Like, I swear to God, they were, we had to go to school. I think we had to be there at 7 a.m., and we got out at, like three or four no we got out at three we got out at three it was from seven to th no we got out at four it was seven to four first of all there would be times where we would come to school and there would be no fucking teacher like we would sit there for literally a fucking hour and there would be no teacher there literally no teacher so we would just sit there and wait until a teacher got there that was another problem because i was paying for education that i barely fucking got like i learned a lot in nursing school it's not like I feel like I could have learned so much more and they bullshitted so fucking much. Second of all, there were like eight teachers and they were all retarded. Like, there, I think there were like two teachers, I'll give two of them, that weren't fucking retarded. And the one that wasn't retarded was ignorant, but I ended up loving her because she was a bitch, but she was the type of bitch that like, she would tell you shit to your face so that you could succeed in the fucking class. One of the teachers was so old that like, she literally couldn't even walk the class. Another teacher was so fucking stupid, I don't even care, like, I, I really don't even care. Another teacher was so stupid that she would come to class, she would read out of the book, and then when we would ask her shit, she would literally tell us to Google it. To Google it. Doesn't your teacher tell you not to Google shit in school because that's fucking wrong? This bitch would literally tell us, I don't know, Google it. Bitch, you are getting paid to teach here. You, I am paying a motherfucking tuition to get motherfucking taught here, and you're telling me to Google answers, and then I gotta sit here from 7 to fucking 5, and... Oh, bitch. Another reason, because they tried to tell me what the fuck I couldn't, couldn't wear. There's no dress code. There was never anything in the thing about a dress code. Like, our school, the nursing school was inside of a high school. Like, our, our school was inside of a high school, and we were just, like, a separate little facility, okay? They never said anything about a dress code. They never said anything like that, because the kids at the school couldn't wear hoodies, but we were allowed, because we weren't part of the school. So we, we didn't have to, like, wear shorts that were so long because we weren't part of the school. We didn't have to, like, not wear hoodies. We could wear sweatpants and shit like that, because we did not have a dress code. The only dress code we had was on days that you had to go to clinical, and days that you had sim lab, you had to wear your, um, scrubs instead of your regular clothes. That's the only dress code we had. The one day, I was chilling there, and I had on shorts and a crop top, okay? Now, shorts and a crop top, first of all, I don't give a fuck what nobody says, it's shorts and a fucking crop top. Second of all, crop top wasn't even, like, a crop top that was, like, right under my boobs. The crop top came, like, right above my belly button. Like, it wasn't even, like, a real short crop top. Like, it was, like, literally, like, down here. And then, the shorts that I had on, I think I had these shorts on. I think I had these shorts on. These are them. Not even nothing. Like, I had these shorts on, okay? Me, I'm real direct. Like, bitch, if you got a problem and you're not gonna say something to me, I'm gonna walk up to you and say something to you. Regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, I don't give a fuck. I don't care, don't disrespect me. So, I'm waiting in line to get my food, because we had like this picnic day where like the new class and the old class brought food in, then we had, we, we all got to eat each other's food or whatever. And I was standing in line waiting to get my food, and I see the one, the dumb teacher, and then I see, not the oldest teacher, but she was like the second oldest one, I see them, like, looking at me, and they're literally looking at me up and down, like, checking me out, like, staring the fuck, like, staring in my soul. So I'm sitting here looking at them, like, why the fuck are y'all looking at me? Get my food, and then I go back to my classroom, right? So, when I get back to my classroom, my teacher, just out of the fucking blue, out of the fucking random, felt like getting up, and she was like, um, okay guys, well... What up? What are you doing, play that? Uh, recording. <laughs> go back to the classroom 
and she stands up and she's like, it real nice, but the fact that she did not own up to that she was talking to me, I found that disrespectful as fuck. Up and she's like, uh, hey guys, we have a dress code that we have to abide by and... I just want some of you guys to, I just want you all to know that we have a dress code, you have to abide by it, blah blah blah. So I start looking around, I'm like, first of all, I'm the only bitch in here that got shorts on, so it has to be me. And I'm the only bitch in here with a fucking crop top on, so it gotta be me. So I'm looking around, just making sure, you know, double, triple, four time fucking checking that she's talking about me. I'm looking around, so I, I didn't stand, I don't think I stood up, I just got real smart with this bitch. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, are you talking about me? And she was like, oh, no, no, I'm not talking about anyone in specific. I'm just saying, I was like, um, no, you're talking about me because I'm the only one in here that got shorts and a crop top on. No other girl in here got shorts and a crop top on. So why, why are you lying? Like, why are you, what, what do you mean? I was like, you're talking about me. What are you talking about? She was one of them teachers that, like, didn't like confrontation, I think, because whenever I was saying this to her, I didn't really, like, yell, but I kind of raised my voice because I was pissed because she was going to say that she wasn't talking about me. Bitch, who the fuck else were you talking about? Point to him, because it was me. It was me, bitch. I already fucking know. I don't know why people gotta lie. Like, who invented lying? Who invented lying? I don't know why people gotta lie. And people lie about the dumbest shit. Like, bitch, you were talking about me. Why Why are you lying? She was like, oh, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about any, anybody in specific, but we have a dress code here. I was like, where's the dress code at? Because it's not in this pamphlet. I was like, y'all never said nothing about the shorts. Y'all never said nothing about a crop top. Y'all never said nothing about how we had to dress. And if y'all, if we did have a dress code... Y'all would have said it at the beginning of the year. Y'all said nothing about a dress code. So why the fuck is there a dress code now? And she just kept talking, giving her a little speech. And like I said, I don't think she liked confrontation. So she kind of just ignored it. And then that was it. Like, she didn't really tell me what to wear after that. But there would be days where we didn't have air conditioning in that bitch. And I don't give a fuck. You're not going to sit here and tell me I'm not wearing shorts and a crop top whenever it's 90 degrees outside and there's no air conditioner. That's another reason why I didn't like it. Another reason why I didn't like it is because when we went to the clinical part... Like, the part, you have a classroom, and then you have clinical, and then, like, some schools probably have sim, where, I mean, I had simulation lab, but, um, yeah, you have classroom, and then you have clinical. The classroom was cool. I didn't like the people in there because the bitches were so fucking fake, and I know that you shouldn't let that ruin something for you, but the fact that, like, these bitches are being nurses, like, these people, these ignorant-ass people, people are so ignorant, like, y'all think that just because somebody's a healthcare professional that they're a good person. Bitch, no. People go to nursing school for money. People go to fucking school to be a doctor for money. People do shit for money. People don't even really do shit out of the goodness and kindness of their heart anymore. And that really, like, opened my eyes whenever I was in nursing school and the people there were just so fucking ignorant. And they, they were still there to be nurses. Like, didn't you take an oath to save people's lives and help people no matter what and not judge people? Fucking fake to me. Like, I don't know. I just felt like the situation was fake. I felt like if you're going to be a nurse, like, you really have to want it. And I feel like I really don't want it that bad. So what's the point of me being a nurse? You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm very careless with everything that I do and I'm very reckless and I know I need to change that about myself and I'm the type of person that I'm really lazy also so I don't want to be lazy with somebody's life. I don't want to be reckless when I have somebody's life in my hands so that's another reason why I'm not a nurse because I don't want to put that on myself and if I ever did anything to anybody I would honestly beat myself up about it and I would feel so bad about it. One day when I was in nursing school I accidentally almost, I almost took somebody's insulin home like because when you're in nursing school, like, towards the very end, like, when you're about to graduate, they let you do med passes by yourself, which is when you go through the hospital, you get your own cart, you get your own password, and the teacher is not there. You pass all your meds by yourself, maybe with another student, but you do it all by yourself. Like, from beginning, from when you get there until the night, like, that's your shift. So, yeah. And also, another thing that happened whenever I was in nursing school, the dumb teacher, this is how you know she was fucking dumb, because she was so dumb that she was ignorant. Like, literally ignorance. Like, the definition of ignorance. And so I guess we were, um, I wasn't there, but this is what, like, ten people in my class said. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, whenever we were in nursing school, I guess these people were in the elevator, the people that were in my class, and they were in the elevator with the dumb teacher. I guess this, um, girl, I think she was a phlebotomist, I think she got on the elevator and she had a bunch of tattoos, a bunch of piercings, and she had dreads, and she was white, okay? And that's what made it worse, because of the fact that she was white and she had dreads. And I guess the teacher looked at her. And she was just staring at her while she was on the elevator. And then when the lady got off of the elevator, she was like, oh my god, that is so disgusting. Bitch, really? What? Really? Ugh. What do you mean? Like, you're not supposed to judge people. What is wrong with you? Like, how do you sit here and teach students in nursing school not to not care for somebody or not to judge somebody based on what they look like, but you just did that shit? And, like, honestly, once I see fakeness, once I see disrespect, once I see, like, ignorance, I'm out. I won't talk to you no more. You will not be a part of my life. Like, for real, for real. That goes for anybody, family, friends. I don't give a fuck at this point. I will never fight for anybody to be in my life again because I have fought for every relationship and every friendship 
And that shit don't work. Like, if somebody ain't gonna talk to you, that bitch ain't gonna talk to you, regardless. It don't matter. So, <laughs> it don't matter what you do or have done for them. It don't matter. So, yeah, guys, that's basically why I don't like nursing school. It really has to do more with the actual school that I went to rather than nursing. I guess the main reason why I wouldn't be a nurse, even if I went back to school and went to, like, a good school and ended up liking it, I can't do, like... I can't not have long nails. I can't ha not have wear my makeup. I can't not have fucking braids down to my ass. I can't do that. Like, I... Like, I don't know. Like, people might think that's stupid, but to me, that's what this tattoo means. Joviality. It means happiness. It's another word for happiness. That's why I got that shit tattooed on me. Because I've been depressed in life so many times. And people think that I'm the happiest person, which is crazy, right? Because people who see me think that I'm so fucking happy and that there's nothing wrong. But I have been depressed in life so many times that happiness is the only thing that matters in life to me at this point. I don't give a fuck about money. I don't care about you. I don't care about you, you, you. I don't care what's going on, bitch. I care about my happiness. And the people that are, are around me, I care about their happiness, too. Because I have been, I have been, I've had a lot of money. Like, whenever I lived in Florida, I had a lot of money. And I had no happiness. And all that money with no fucking happiness, I was fucking miserable. I was so depressed. It didn't matter the amount of money. It didn't matter what I was getting paid. It didn't matter what I was doing. It didn't matter how much. Being alone and being depressed, nothing can fix that shit but happiness. No amount of money, no amount of drugs, nothing. Happiness is the key to life. And the sooner y'all realize that, the happier this world will be. Um, yeah guys, that is that for you. Um, sorry it was such a boring video. I'm gonna do some more fun videos. I'm trying to hit the cut and do shit like that, like cooking videos. So yeah, I wanna start making like can of butter and doing shit like that once I get enough money to get enough weed and make the can of butter and do all that. Yeah, videos are gonna be exciting. So, sorry my nose was itchy and my allergies were bothering you guys. This is not a background, this is actually my living room. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace. I hope you like my baby hairs. I already have a baby hair tutorial. If it ain't up by now, y'all need to beat my ass because that shit should be up by now.